Good morning, everyone. Myself, Dr. Rama Rani, Assistant Professor, IIMT College of Law, Greater Noida. Today's topic is demand and supply. Demand may be defined as the willingness and ability of buyers to purchase a given amount of goods and services over a range of prices for a given period of time. Demand it means it is an effective desire. which is baked by willingness to pay and ability to pay there are three main important things in it demand is depend on the will of the consumer and the ability to pay and desire to pay if someone has will to purchase any product then only he can purchase it and if it consumer want to purchase the product for that he should have sufficient money and if he had money and he don't want to spend it then the demand can't be fulfilled in other words quantity demanded is the specific by at the particular price during a given period of time the equation of demand function is determinants of demand is uh, quantity demanded function uh, is uh, px ps pc y t e u quantity demanded uh, qd means quantity of the product qd is equal to quantity demanded of any uh, product by the consumer ps is equal to price of the product and ps is equal to price of the substitute goods substitute goods are those goods that we can use uh, another good in place of one like we can take the example of uh, tea instead of coffee if the uh, price of the coffee is higher then the consumer want to purchase tea next is pc price of the complementary goods complementary goods are those goods that we can use side by side like car and petrol and pen and ink next is buy is equal to income of the consumer the demand also depend on the income of the consumer taste and preferences of the consumer also affect the demand and therefore expected rise fall in the price of the goods if sometimes the price of a particular commodity falls then the demand of that particular commodity rise and u is equal to the other factors now characteristics of demand demand is always with reference to price demand also uh, affect the uh, price of the uh, product the price of the product also affect the demand of the consumer and demand is referred to a given period of time uh, it means it depend on the season and weather if the uh, in summer season the people like to purchase the cotton cloth cooler ac etc so demand also uh, affected by the season and weather the consumer must have necessary purchasing power to back his desire for the commodity and consumer must also be ready to exchange his money for commodity if a consumer want to purchase a particular commodity then he he have to, uh, to pay uh, some money uh, for the uh, for purchasing the commodity a demand schedule can be shown uh, as points on a graph so the graph list uh, prices on the vertical axis and quantity demanded on the horizontal axis each point on the graph shows how many units of the product or service an individual will buy at a particular price the demand curve is the line 
that connect these points a demand schedule is a table that lists the various quantities of a product or a service that someone is willing to buy over a range of possible prices if the price of a particular uh, commodity is 5 then its quantity demanded is 2 and if the price uh, will be less if it is 4 then that quantity demanded is 4 and the, if the price is less uh, than 4 3 then the quantity demanded of the particular commodity is 6 and if the price less more 2 then the quantity demanded of the particular commodity is 8 and if the price is 1 then the quantity demanded of the particular commodity is 10 so it shows that if the price of any particular commodity decreases then its demand increases this is the demand curve it is also showing uh, that if the price high of any product then its demand decreases the demand curve slopes downward this shows that the people are normally willing to buy less of a product at a high price and more at a low price if the price of any particular commodity increases then its demand also also automatically increases and if the price of any commodity decreases then its demand also increases one reason the demand curve slopes downward is due to the diminishing marginal utility the principle of diminishing marginal utility says that our additional satisfaction tends to go down as we consume more and more unit we can take the example of the ice cream if a person take uh, one uh, ice cream and after that uh, he uh, takes uh, two and then more than two uh, after that the level of satisfaction um, become more and uh, this shows the uh, diminishing marginal utility a person um, fed up uh, from the consuming of a particular product to make a buying decision we consider whether the satisfaction we expect to gain is worth the money Uh, we must give up the change in the quantity demanded due to a price change occurs along the demand curve this shows uh, the demand curve for we get uh, if the prices rise then the demand is less of the particular commodity prices of related goods affect on demand substitute goods a substitute good is a product that we can use in place of the another the price of the substitute good and demand for the other good are directly related for example the price of the uh, coke and the um, price of the uh, other uh, drink uh, like pepsi if the price of the pepsi is less then the uh, demand of pepsi increases next complementary goods a complement is a good that goes well with another good when goods are complement there is an inverse relationship between the price of one and the demand for the other for example peanut and butter jam uh, butter and jam also uh, we uh, use all together and car and petrol we use all together so complementary goods are those goods that we use side by side now introduction to supply 
supply refers to the various quantities of a good or a service that produce are well, uh, willing to sell at all possible market prices supply can be referred to the output of one producer to the total output of all the producers in the market to supply means a seller a producer sell the product in the market according to the demand in the market supply schedule can be uh, shown the quantities producers are willing to supply at various prices the pr the price of a product is 5 then the quantity supply is 10 and if the price uh, is in, uh, in uh, decreases uh, from 5 to 4 then demand also decreases from 10 to 8 and the if the price is rupees 3 of any product then the demand is 6 the it shows that as the price decreases then the demand also decreases so there is a positive relationship between the price of a product and the supply the supply schedule can be shown as uh, points on a graph the graph lists prices on the vertical axis and quantity supplied on the horizontal axis and each point of the graph shows how many units of the product or service a producer or a group of producer would willing sell at a particular price the supply curve is the line that connects these points as if the uh, quantity of a particular commodity uh, at uh, point 2 then the price uh, if the price of a particular commodity is less then the demand is also less and as the price high then the demand is also increases so it shows the positive relationship between the price of a commodity and the supply of a commodity as the price for a good rises the quantity supplied rises and the quantity demanded falls as the price falls the quantity supplied falls and the quantity demanded rises if the price of a particular commodity rises then demand also rises and if the price of a particular commodity falls then the demand also decreases the law of supply holds the producers will normally offer more for sale at a higher prices and less at the lower prices it means if the price of any particular commodity increases then the supply also increases and if the price of a particular commodity decreases then the supply also decreases supply curve can also shift in response to the following factors subsidies and taxes government subsidies encourage production while taxes decrease production the, the supply curve uh, shows that the uh, if the subsidies provided by the government it helps in the production and the taxes reduces the production because the, if the tax is imposed by the government on any product then the demand of the particular product decreases because it affects the price of a particular commodity next is technology improvements in the production increase ability of firm to supply technology also depends uh, on the production and Uh, production will increase if the producer use the modern technology it increases the production other good uh, business consider the price of the goods they could be producing and number of sellers in the markets also affect the 
supply expectations business consider future prices and economic conditions resource cost cost to purchase factors of production will influence business decisions and uh, these factors that shift the supply curve demand and supply at work market brings buyers and sellers together in the market there are number of buyers and seller and the forces of supply and demand work together in the market at a definite price in our economy prices from the basis of economic decisions so supply and demand go side by side by the consumers in the market and it affect the demand when operating without restrictions our market economy eliminates shortages and surplus over time a surplus forces the price down and a shortage forces the price up until supply and demand are balanced the point where they achieve balance is the equilibrium price at this price neither a surplus nor a shortage exists once the market price reaches equilibrium it tends to stay there until either supply or demand changes when at the in the market the supply and demand are equal position then this stage is called equilibrium when the when that happens a temporary surplus or shortage occurs until the price adjusts to reach a new equilibrium price supply and demand at work when the demand and supply are equal at the equal position then it is called the equilibrium position next is law of demand law of demand expresses the functional relationship between the price of a commodity and its quantity demanded it the law of demand states that if the price of any particular commodity increases then its demand decreases and when the price of a particular commodity decreases then its demand increases it shows an inverse relationship between the price of a commodity demanded and the it provides other things remaining the same so in other words as the price of a commodity increases consumer will purchase lesser quantity per unit and if the price of a commodity decreases then the consumers will purchase the high quantity of the unit when price of a goods increases demand decreases and when the price of a particular commodity increases then demand decreases so the reasons for downward sloping demand curve it is a general law that demand curve slope downward to the right it also known as a negative slope of demand curve which shows an inverse relationship between the price and the quantity demanded the reasons for uh, slope are as follows first one is law of diminishing marginal utility this shows that the successive increase in units of the consumption of the commodity by the consumers every additional units give less satisfaction to the consumer if the consumer starts consuming any product it gives him satisfaction and if we, the next unit uh, he consumes then it gives the more satisfaction after that consuming one uh, two and third unit then 
after their consumption their level of satisfaction down so low diminishing marginal utility is a one cause for the slope downward next is income effect income also effect the demand of the consumer if the income of the consumer is high then he will purchase the more products and if the income of the consumer is low then he is not capable to purchase the product more next is substitution effect substitution effect also uh, demand if the substitute of any particular commodity is available in the market then the consumer is start purchasing the particular commodity and if the consumer uh, don't have any option and a substitute then uh, the consumer have to purchase the the first one commodity that is available in the market so substitution also effect the demand now diverse uses of commodity there is diverse uses of the commodity if a commodity uh, we can use it in many places we can take the example of sugar and milk Uh, so we use milk in many ways for making tea for coffee for curd and many more things so diverse uses of the commodity also affect the demand of a particular commodity in the market now exceptions to law of demand there are some ex- exceptions to law of demand first one is prestige consumer don't want to follow the law while purchasing the prestige goods these goods rather add to his status prestige uh, when uh, purchased at a higher price uh, when he want to show off in the society then uh, consumer don't care of the price of the particular commodity next is given paradox given paradox uh, it is proposed by sir given robert given economics and uh, given goods are those goods that uh, are the inferior uh, quality of goods that as the price increases demand for the product increases and if the prices of the inferior goods decreases then the demand also decrease so in this case we cannot apply the law of demand next is emergency in the case of emergency consumer will not follow the law of demand rather he will be ready to purchase quantity required at a higher prices also uh, when there is an emergency the consumer purchase the particular product at any prices either it may be higher or not next is expectations about the future prices if an uh, increase in the price of a commodity causes households to expect the price of a commodity to increase further they may start purchasing a greater amount of the basic necessary goods the goods which people need to matter how high the prices are basic or necessary goods medicines covered by insurance uh, are a good example okay basic necessary uh, goods the consumer uh, purchase at any cost and uh, we can take the examples of the medicine in it it doesn't matter the price may be any the consumer if he had need he will purchase it definitely at any cost an increase or decrease in the price of such good does not affect the quantity demanded because these are basic and the necessary goods thank you